Well, hello, hello, my gorgeous cancer women. How are you? You know I love you. Thank you so much for being patient. I know that you guys like to be the first ones, but you will give of yourself to be the last one. So, you're not the very last ones. The men are the last ones, if that helps. So, if you've never seen me before, welcome. My name is Cindy. I'm a psychic medium, spiritual advisor, hypnotherapist, and holistic life coach. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you guys for sharing and subscribing and liking my videos. Um, so, I hope you guys liked the last video. How does he feel about me, right? Um, we've got some more videos coming up. On Sunday, we will be releasing a brand new spread. Um, Teresa's going to do that. Teresa's the other tarot reader that does the love scope um, for the monthly and the bi-monthly. Or the mid-month, whatever you want to call it. So, what can I say about my cancer women? Well, I absolutely adore you. I do. My sister is a cancer. Well, I have two sisters, but my the closest one in age to me is a cancer. And we were two peas in the pod growing up. I was the Gemini, she was the cancer. <laughs> So we would fight and we would love hard. <laughs> That's kind of how we were. I love her, love her, love her. She is so kind and gentle. And all cancers that I've met are kind and gentle and can be very charismatic. Like you can take a room if you want to. You don't necessarily want to own the room, but you can. Like you'll find yourself in these instances where you just own the room. You're beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous women. Um, I don't know, I just have this special place for you. Uh, my sister is so, she has such depth to her love and what she will do for people and how she is with everyone um, and herself. And she will fight for you, like she is so loyal. So, I love that about her. I love that about you cancers. That when you love someone, it is forever. It doesn't matter if when you're dating, you break up with them. It's forever. And it um, doesn't necessarily mean you have to love them and be with them there. You can love them from afar. So, therein lies the problem, you cancer women. Sometimes you don't want to let go, right? But it's necessary for where you want to be. So, it's very, very hard for you to detach physically. Emotionally, you'll never detach. Uh, you can move through it, you can understand it, but you won't ever detach. And that's a good thing because in the end, really, this isn't the only life. We have others. And this isn't the only space or dimension or world. We have others. So you have this innate understanding that we are never disconnected. So. Until then, let's get you some clarity. <laughs> I forgot to mention the last video. I am sponsored by IK Multimedia. I want to thank them very much. They have been a blessing in my life. I use their iRig mic lav. Um, they're the reason you can hear me so well. Sorry, you can't see with my hair. They're the reason you can hear me so well. And my eye clip um, I use with them so um, I can use my phone or any, cam any camera. So. Go check them out. I'll have the link below. Thank you. Um, all right. So the question I'm going to ask, the main thing everyone wants to know, how does he feel about me? How does he feel about me? Um, how does he feel about me? I kind of want to shuffle these cards a little bit more. Sorry. How does he feel about me? So, um, the first question I ask in the spread is, how does he see me? How does he see me in the world? I do want to apologize for the glare in my glasses. I'm sorry. The lighting is just so hard. <laughs> so, and I need my glasses because I'm getting older. I know I look young, but I'm really old. <laughs> so, how does he feel? I mean, so how does he see me in the world? Sorry. How does he see me in the world? Oh, nice. 
So you have the Seven of Cups. He sees you as a mover and shaker. He sees you as having all these options and doing what is that you're wanting and being brave in that and courageous in that and not sort of getting stuck in, well, should I do it or should I not do it? Just doing what you got to do and opening doors for yourself, not expecting anybody to do it for you. So he sees you as an independent woman. Good for you. Um, in your second position, the question I ask, how does he feel about me? So he hasn't made a decision yet, but he's about to. You have the judgment card. He feels like he wants to be with you. He feels like, he feels I want to be with her, but I don't know what she's going to do. And I can love this woman, but she's not letting me in all the way. And he doesn't understand, huh? He needs time with you. He needs to show himself. He needs to do that. So he feels like there's a decision to be made. He feels like... I'm not ready to make it yet, but it's about to come anyway. I can feel it. So that's how he feels about you. So the third question I ask is, what does he bring into the table? I mean, you work hard. You get your stuff. You're willing to do what it takes and love him to the nth degree if you're going to love him. You haven't decided that yet either, but you got to know what he's bringing. Okay, so what does he bring into the table? Look at this my beautiful gorgeous cancer women look at you you have the king of all kings in the emotional realm you have the king of cups this guy's a king this guy has is able to give you intimacy and able to navigate through all of that able to give you the love that you want and need he's able to do this he's just not going to do it for anyone I see the issue. The issue is you ha you need him to spend more time with you before you're going to put him in that shell on the inside of your shell. And he's like, I'm not going to do anything. I've got all this to give. But she's not letting me too close. She's letting me only so far and I can feel that outer shell. So therein lies the problem, cancer women. What are we going to do? I know you've been hurt a lot. I know you've given your heart before, and I know that that person's still there, and it took you a lot to get through that, but what are you going to do with this guy? This guy's ready. So, for some of you, if you are dealing with somebody that you've been dealing with for a long time, this guy is emotionally bonded, but not physically. So this guy is willing to give you all the emotional love, but when it comes to the physical, I gotta, I'm gonna be with you, I'm gonna marry you, I'm gonna start a family with you, or I'm gonna have the family and be in it with you, I don't see a lot of that. I just see the emotional bonding, okay? Now, in your fourth position, but that's for some of you. If you want a more personalized reading, you're welcome to go to your indigopath.com and order a reading. In your fourth position, the question I ask is, what does he want from you? What does he want for you, from you? He wants you to let go. He wants you to be passionate in him. He sees that you have this beautiful, um, outgoing, charismatic way, but it, he, he feels almost like you're reserving yourself when you're with him. So he wants more passion. He wants you to let go. He wants you to let him in that inner shell. That's what he wants. <clears throat> So, in your fourth position, what is he doing in his everyday life to help you this relationship progress forward? He's thinking about it. He's not doing anything. He's thinking about it. See, this is the Palace of Coins. So, his state of mind is, um, I can see a place where we have, this is all grounding earth stuff, but it's in his mind. It's not in the physical yet. I can see where we can have children. I can see where we can be married. I can see where we can have the everyday things. I can see where we can pull our resources together and start a new life or start a good life. I can see it. I'm, I can, I'm dreaming of it, but I'm not doing anything yet. That's what I'm feeling. Yeah. Boy, there's going to be a tug of war here. I don't see it. Okay, so in your sixth position, the question I ask is, Will he make next contact? So I get this in several ways because we have such a big group. I'm seeing people that are single. I'm seeing people that won't let go of the others. I've seen people that have just met new people. So for some of you, he is looking at you. See that cup that he's looking at? That's you. That's full of love. Um, he is trying to get rid of the old things. I see, feel like he feels ashamed of some of the stuff that he's done for, from you or to you 
or with you um, and he's looking at you so some of you there is somebody that wants you back but that's kind of a back and forth with you guys so uh, for others of you I feel like um, he sees you at a distance and wants you here with him um, yeah so will he make next contact yes some of you he will absolutely um, they're giving me 80% so most of you he will some of you he's too ashamed I'm feeling shame I'm feeling a lot of shame yeah yeah so yeah some of you he will some of you he won't sorry I wish I had a better outcome for you anyway I hope I help I love you love you love you thank you so much for watching I am in a beta study with YouTube so in, on one of these sides um, you can click on the next video it makes it so much easier from your mobile phone or any mobile device love you love you love you bye